and to hear. Now, they can't hear as well as you and I can, but in 10 or 15 machine generations, they will. And these are machine generations, not human generations. And about two or three years after they can hear as well as you and I can, then they'll be able to hear maybe how bats sing or how whales talk or how dogs talk and other types of tonal scales. They'll be able to focus their hearing. They'll be able to increase the sensitivity, decrease the sensitivity, do a series of things that we can't do. And the same thing is happening in eyes. This is a group in Germany that's beginning to engineer eyes so that people who are blind can begin to see light and dark. Very primitive. And then they'll be able to see shape. And then they'll be able to see color. And then they'll be able to see in definition. And one day they'll see as well as you and I can. And a couple of years after that, they'll be able to see an ultraviolet. They'll be able to see an infrared. They'll be able to focus their eyes. They'll be able to come into a micro focus. They'll do stuff you and I can't do. All of these things are coming together. And it's a particularly important thing to understand as we worry about the flames of the present to keep an eye on the future. And of course, the future is looking back 200 years, because next week is the 200th anniversary of Darwin's birth. And it's the 150th anniversary of the publication of The Origin of the Species. And Darwin, of course, argued that evolution is a natural state. It is a natural state in everything that is alive, including hominids. There have actually been 22 species of hominids that have been around, have evolved, have wandered in different places, and have gone extinct. It is common for hominids to evolve. And that's the reason why, as you look at the hominid fossil record, Erectus and Heidelbergensis and Florensis and Neanderthals and Homo sapiens all overlapped. The common stage of affairs is to have overlapping versions of hominids, not one. And as you think of the implications of that, here's a brief history of the universe. The universe was created 13.7 billion years ago. And then you created all the stars and all the planets and all the galaxies and all the Milky Ways. And then you created Earth about 4.5 billion years ago. And then you got life about 4 billion years ago. And then you got hominids about 0.006 billion years ago. And then you got our version of hominids about 0.0015 billion years ago. Ta-da! Maybe the reason for the creation of the universe and all the galaxies and all the plants and all the energy and all the dark energy and the rest of the stuff is to create what's in this room. Maybe not. That would be a mildly arrogant viewpoint. <laughs>